In this tutorial I'm gonna give you a brief overview on the Quality Wings BAE Avro RJ series fuel system. So let's get started. Fuel quantity indications are located just below the engine indications and this is the fuel quantity indications on each tank starting from the left wing tank the center tank and the right wing tank. The left and right wing tanks are identical. Each one holds a usable capacity of 3,683 kilograms. The center tank holds 1,996 kilograms. As you can see in this situation the three tanks are full. In addition to these three fuel tanks there is two optional auxiliary tanks which can be fitted to increase the total fuel capacity. One is labeled left auxiliary tank and the second one is labeled the right auxiliary tank and each one holds 468 kilograms fuel. Fuel in these tanks is transferred to the left and right main wing tanks. There is no fuel quantity indications for the auxiliary tanks the only indications related to the auxiliary fuel quantity are left auxiliary tank not empty and right auxiliary tank not empty. These indications remain on when the auxiliary tanks are not empty. When the engines are not running, the fuel flow redoubts default to KGS text. KGS stands for kilograms and this is the reminder that the fuel redoubts are in kilograms. When the engines are running, KGS indications are replaced by the fuel flow digital readouts. The fuel flow unit is in kilograms per hour. To find the correct fuel flow amount, we need to multiply the digital readout by 100. Two fuel used push button are used to display the fuel used by each engine. Pushing either button will display momentarily the fuel used by each engine and we have to multiply this indication by 100 to obtain the correct amount. The fuel used readouts are only shown for a brief time then they return to their default fuel flow readouts. Two reset push buttons are provided to reset the fuel used to zero. Pushing either button will reset all the fuel used indications to zero. The fuel control panel is located in the left forward portion of the overhead panel, just below the hydraulic panel. Four fuel feed tanks designated as left outer feed tank, left inner feed tank, right inner feed tank and the right outer feed tank. Normally the left outer feed tank feeds the engine number one, the left inner feed tank feeds the engine number two, the right inner feed tank feeds the engine number three and the right outer feed tank feeds the engine number four. Each engine burns its fuel directly from its respective feed tank. The left outer and inner feed tanks receive their fuel from the left wing tank whilst the right inner and outer feed tanks receive their fuel from the right wing tank. These feed tanks are constantly topped up by the respective wing tanks. Left feed low level light comes on when either tank of the left feed tank's fuel level falls below full. Right feed low level light comes on when either tank of the right feed tanks falls below full. These indications are accompanied with fuel light in the MWS panel. The center tank transfer switch has three positions, auto, shut and open. 
In auto, the center tank transfer is disabled when the aircraft is on the ground and it's enabled when airborne. Shut and open position are self-explanatory. These two positions allow you to manually shut or open the center tank fuel transfer valves. At takeoff, when the aircraft leaves the ground, a weight on wheel switch will signal the transfer fuel valves from the center to open, transfer to left and right lights come on and fuel transfer light on the MWS panel comes on. When all the fuel in the center tank is being transferred, the center fuel quantity indicator shows zero. Transfer to the left and right annunciators extinguish to indicate that the transfer is stopped. At this time, we select the center tank transfer switch to open for two minutes before selecting it to shut. The auxiliary tank not empty annunciators will remain on until transfer is complete. The fuel temperature gauge shows the fuel temperature in the right outer tank and it should be monitored to ensure that the fuel temperature remains within 3 degrees above the published freezing point of the fuel used. Crossfeed switch has two positions shut and open. Shut is the normal position and this isolates the left and right fuel tanks from feeding their offside engines. Selecting open will open the crossfeed valve to allow the fuel from one wing to feed the engines of the other wing. Left and right common feed switch has two positions shut and open. Shut is the normal position. Normal means each engine is fed by its respective feed tank. Selecting open will open the respective common feed to allow either the on-side engines to be fed from any other feed tank or to allow the on-side feed tanks to feed the other wing associated engines. Left and right standby pump switches have two positions, normal and on. Norm is the normal selection. This allows the standby pumps, which are hydraulically powered, to operate automatically when the AC pumps fail. On position allows the standby pumps to run constantly regardless of the AC pumps conditions. Four AC fuel pumps switch labeled as follow, starting from the left, left outer, left inner, right inner and right outer switch. Each switch has two positions on and off. With on select the pump will run constantly. With off select will stop the pump. Each pump has its associated low pressure indicator. This illuminates when the pump output is too low. In the next video I will cover the fuel management. See you there.